One of our Not Super Mom friends, Allison, watched the video that Daniela and I did about how to deal with a bully at school, and she left us a great and important comment on the website, and I wanted to share it with you. She said, It's such great advice to include kids who are difficult and bossy, but what about when your child is being tormented by another child who's outright mean? I'd love to know what you both think about that situation. So, Allison, thank you. I'm really glad you brought this up because this has actually happened to Daniela in school. She's dealt with, over the years, a, a student at school who's been um, particularly mean and difficult to you and made you pretty miserable at times. What happened? Well, she was, when all of my, when my friends and I, when we tried to play together, she would always come over and ruin our time. She would just be outright mean to us. She was just really mean. And a couple things to do there, you could either ignore them. You so did you try that at first? Did you try it? Yeah. Did it, we, did it work for you? Not really, because she kept coming over and being mean to us. But why would you want to try ignoring first with somebody who's being a bully? What would? Because you want to try ignoring them, because if you just jump back with something mean, they're going to think, oh, well, I got a reaction. I'm going to keep being mean to her. Oh, so they'd be satisfied with that. And, yeah. They'd be satisfied and mm -hmm. they would keep doing it. So you want to ignore them. And if that doesn't work, go get an adult. Because if you don't go get an adult, things could get out of hand and then it could get very bad. Which adult do you think you should talk to? Either talk to your teacher or you could talk to your parents. Do you your think it's important to always make sure that your parents know what's going on at school, especially if there's a bully? Yes. Now, we talk it's, all the time, right? Yeah, it's very important for parents to know about what goes on at school because they have great suggestions. They can help you. So Daniela came home almost every day and told us what was happening with this particular girl. And we gave her a lot of advice. We talked about it a lot, how to deal with it, what not to do, what to do. And we also told her at some point, you know, that she should talk to somebody at school and talk to her teacher. Um, we got involved a little bit there. And at, during the year, even a social worker got involved to talk to a, a few of the girls who were having the same issue. And it's it depends who you feel comfortable with. Maybe it's um, the principal, maybe it's a social worker, maybe it's your history teacher or your PE teacher, art teacher, it doesn't matter, whoever you feel comfortable with at school. But the most important thing is to also talk to your parents. They need to know what's going on. They need to, um, they need to, they can help you. So you talk to us and um, do you feel like things got better? I felt like things got better. I felt that your suggestions really did help me every day when I came home you would have a different suggestion for the next day and I just felt great that I got my parents involved and that they were helping me try to solve this problem. Did it ever get all better or is there still... It never got, it never got all better. But you learned she how to deal? Still, I learned how to deal with it but she's, that person is still mean to people. She's mean to me, she's mean to my friends. I don't know if she's ever going to change. And do you have a, what is your secret? How do you deal with it at school? How do I deal with now. it at school? Now. You're not in the same class anymore. We're not in the same class anymore. I'm kind of happy about that because, you know. Do you try I, to be friendly? I try to be friendly to her. I said hi, I gave her a hug on the first day of school. That was nice. I'm trying to be friendly. Um, but if she, if she, if that person ever starts getting mean to me again, I'm going to try to ignore them. And but if, it, talk if it gets ever out of hand, I'm going to talk to you or my teacher, whoever I feel most comfortable. So that's to. the key there. Talk to your parents. Talk to your teachers. You don't have to go to school scared. Make sure that you involve somebody to help you. Um, Allison, thanks again for your great comment. We love getting comments um, about uh, what you think and things that you'd like us to discuss. We'll see you next time. Bye.